An update tonight on plans by leaders in New Hanover County to build a new library and museum in downtown Wilmington. Kelly, leaders actually presented an update on Project Grace to the state's local government commission this afternoon. And WECT Zach Solon heard the discussion and has those new details tonight. Zach, the chair of the LGC is State Treasurer Dale Falwell, and he has continued to express concerns about the financing plans for Project Grace. Yes, John, the county needs the LGC's approval to take on more than $55 million of debt to pay for the new library and museum. While the commission did not vote on the project today, county leaders say they want that project to move forward soon. A plan to bring a new library and museum to downtown Wilmington has been in the works for nine years. Project Grace failed to get a vote from the local government commission last year, but New Hanover County commissioners created a new plan with Cape Fear Development. We have a concept that is going to, in combination with this public-private partnership, put a library museum on one portion and then have this new developer spend at least $30 million on new buildings that are going to go on the tax rolls, that are going to increase the value of nearby buildings, nearby businesses. Commissioner Dane Scalise says the price tag for the project is just under $56 million. We've restructured the deal to reflect the suggestions that we received from y'all because we recognize that the LGC plays an important role in making sure that counties and municipalities do the right things whenever it comes to the tax dollars that they're spending. LGC Chairman and State Treasurer Dale Falwell says he still has concerns about the county's financing plan. I don't mind what any per entrepreneur does with other people's money. That's really none of my business. But when it comes to the taxpayer money, that's where I get involved. Falwell wonders if the county can partner with the city of Wilmington to bring Project Grace to life. Since that PPD building has excess space, since this has free parking, since it's aesthetically beautiful as it relates to looking out over the river, why can't the city and the county come together and maybe take the two floors of the PPD building and do some kind of uh, venture with the library? County leaders hope the LGC will vote on the project next month, so after those nine years, they can either move forward or reassess. Members of the Local Government Commission expect to vote on whether to approve the county's financing plan for Project Race at its next meeting on October 3rd. After today's meeting, county commissioners issued a joint statement saying the project is crucial for the county's progress. John? Well, I'll have to wait and see what kind of a vote it gets next month, Zach. Thanks.